Hello, my name is Allison Duffy and I teach kindergarten at Leeds Elementary School. My teaching journey began at a very early age. My mom was a teacher and my dad was a principal. My brother and I both loved going to school and despite her desire for just 48 hours away from the classroom, I would often beg my mom to play teacher with me on the weekends. My parents' passion for influencing young minds made me think that there truly must be something special about being a teacher. So when it came time for me to choose a career path, that choice was simple. Four years later, I became an early childhood teacher at Leeds. When I entered my new classroom for the first time, I did what any responsible adult would do in a challenging new situation. I called my mom. Within those first few years in the classroom, I went to my parents a lot for advice. Whenever I would talk to my dad about anything school related, he would always emphasize the same word, relationships. Relationships? I have to get these kids to read by May. I don't have time for building relationships. Or so I thought. I had a lot of challenges in the classroom during those first few years. My days weren't flowing the way I wanted them to. My students weren't working together like I hoped they would. And to be honest, teaching wasn't as enjoyable as I had always dreamed it would be. That's when that word popped into my head again, relationships. That summer, I spent a lot of time deciding who I wanted to be as a teacher. I was given the opportunity to attend the responsive classroom training, which ultimately changed my life. During that week long workshop, I learned strategies to implement in my own classroom to mold my newest group of five-year-olds into a family. And most importantly, I was brought back to that significance of that word again, relationships. That fall, I set aside the first six weeks of the school year to building a strong foundation for a community of learners. My students and I learned about each other during morning meeting, became solid in routines through interactive modeling, reflected on our days during closing circle, and ultimately became a unified team ready to tackle the year, and tackle the year we did. That year, my students grew as people, friends, and learners. They practiced letters, sounds, and sight words. They practiced counting, adding, and subtracting, and most importantly, they became a family. Students happily greeted each other when they walked through the door, helped each other when they fell on the playground, and celebrated each other when they finally mastered those tricky sight words. What sticks out most in my mind about that year is the little girl who gave me a card for Teacher Appreciation Week. Inside, in her kindergarten kid writing, it simply said, thank you for greeting me every day. She wasn't thanking me for teaching her how to read, write, or count. She was thanking me for building that relationship with her. My students and I cried when that year was over. We knew we had built something special that could never be replicated in the same way again. Yet that's what I focus on at the beginning of every year now, creating that strong classroom family first. In fact, with distance learning, relationships are more important than ever. I can't control whether my kids are completing the work or watching the videos I assign, but I can control my relationship with each child. So what have I learned from all of this? Building relationships truly is the key to student success. And always listen to your dad's advice. Thank you.